Hi all. Uh, today's topic is how to prepare test data for test case. Test data is very important for executing the test case. So before executing the test case, we need to prepare the test data. It is the entry criteria for executing any test case. We have to prepare the test data in such a way that uh, it will cover 100% test coverage. Let's start how to prepare test data for test case. So this is the template uh, where I have prepared the test data for test cases. So before uh, preparing the test data, I will show you the template of test case. So this is my template for test case. Uh, here I have created two test case. Uh, one is for verify that user app is not able to log in with invalid username and invalid password. This is one test case. Another test case is uh, verify that user is able to log in with valid user ID and valid password. So this is my two test case over here and for this we have to prepare the test data. So before uh, uh, going to test data part I will uh, just show you how uh, we have prepared the test case. So first uh, ID, first column is test case ID second is test case name and an entry criteria which is very much uh, important for uh, creating any test case because uh, we have to ensure that this data is ready uh, before executing the test case so uh, this is one of my criteria is uh, this data is ready for testing next step is test steps test steps means how we can execute this test case so in here uh, I have uh, written three steps for this test case. After that, uh, expected result, then actual result. Actual result we will uh, uh, put over here after executing the test data or test case. And we have to also define the priority and severity uh, for this test uh, case. Status is. Uh, after executing the test case, we have to write here the status which is pass or fail and author and comment uh, we can uh, write it over here. So for this test case uh, uh, and uh, the test steps enter invalid user ID and invalid password, uh, we have to prepare the test data for this test case and for the next test case uh, user it if the user is able to log in with valid user id and valid password so in this case we have to enter the valid user id and valid password so now i will uh, show you how we can uh, prepare the test data for these test cases so next set uh, test data for here uh, this is the standard template for creating the test data and first uh, column is uh, test case id second is test data id and third column is the user input part uh, for login uh, we have user id and password two feet we have to enter the data for these two feet then remarks uh, means uh, what type of test data we have prepared here that we have to uh, retain here and who is preparing the test data. So uh, for uh, test case ID 1.1.1 means this test case, this test case we have to prepare the test data over here and this data ID is 1.1.1.1 means this is the first test data and then 1.1.1.2 means second test data and this is 1.1.2 means this this test case and for this test case we have prepared the test data as 1.1.2.1 likewise we just uh, uh, write, we have written that id in this set so uh, for this uh, test case we have uh, we have prepared the test data like uh, 
first uh, field uh, I have built in it as in my remarks part uh, both user ID and password is empty so this is my first test data means uh, when uh, we uh, redirect it to the login page then we will not uh, we will uh, put the user ID and password field empty and click on the submit button and we will see what will be the behavior that we have to check that is why I have uh, set those, these two fields as blank or empty next test data is uh, user ID is invalid and password is empty this is my second test data and next is uh, user ID is empty and password is invalid and the fourth test data is both user ID and password is invalid because my test steps was uh, enter invalid user ID and invalid password so I have prepared these test data for test case 1.1.1 and we have to enter these data data this data for this test step for uh, test case number two uh, we have prepared the test data as 1.1.2.1 and user id password both are valid so i have uh, uh, written correct user id and correct password and we have to enter it this test steps and uh, we'll check the behavior so in this way we will prepare the test data prepare the test data for any test case and uh, one thing we have to keep in our mind that uh, uh, we have to prepare the test data in such a way so that it will cover 100 percent test coverage and uh, we will not miss any any kind of uh, functionality so that's all Thank you very much.